Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea Part, well, Episode 2. Um, we're still in the test subject inventory area past the uh, quarantine zone, but we now lifted the quarantine zone, which means that I could kind of get a few more items I couldn't otherwise. Uh, I'm just gonna have to take a look around. So there's there's at least one. This area wasn't open before, and that there's at least one voxophone in here. So let's let's listen to that from Fink himself. It has occurred to me that this breakthrough regarding the songbird casts my arrangement with the Oriental Doctor in a new light. What more could be gained by this continued? Partnership. What secrets that I could not answer for myself? Su Chong can only offer table scraps. And Jeremiah Fink has richer meat in mind. Jeremiah Fink has richer meat in mind. I think I cleared out everything in here. There wasn't any area I couldn't access, I think. Um... Because we looped around the outside of this area. I checked everything on the inside now. And I don't think I missed anything. Because um, there's should be a hook here somewhere as well. Because I saw that hook through the window before. Although I don't see it now. Might, might be that I missed some. No, there's a hook. Yeah, never mind. There's the hook. So I think I'm fine just running away from here. Uh, they kind of destroyed the turret I possessed over here as well, which is interesting. And I don't think I missed anything out there. Because we just came to... Yeah, I don't think there's anything there. Let's head back inside, because there's a few more doors that must have opened now. Because uh, there's still... Yeah, I still don't know how to get to the handyman repair wing. There's still a locked door in there. I could, of course cheat my way to it but that's not gonna gonna fly right so there's at least one dude over there is that a fox populi what you got there no just grabbing anything that looks halfway there where the what the hell would they fight was that us Since when did you become Lord and Master? Oh god, there's a lot of enemies suddenly. Don't think you can hide from me. I used to tell for the man. But now at least I tell for myself. <laughs> I'll find her. Ooh, god. I no Someone else can find her. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Damn it. There's a lot of enemies suddenly. Um. Something's going on. I think I took out quite a few there. I think I'm gonna take the radar range. I'm coming for you. There's one in there as well. I'm just gonna try and get him. You're next, you hear me? There's a foxophone over here. What? What's she doing? <laughs> Well, what the hell did where the hell did that foxophone come from? Hey, you are right. Now I don't trust anything anymore. Now I know there's been some concern about the nature of the work we do here at Fink Manufacturing. Why some say they're uncomfortable with the purported harm and suffering our research brings. But friends, let me pose a simple question. Is there anything you would not do to guarantee the health and safety of your loved ones? My interest is the future health of your children. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Okay then. Seems to me one more over there. 
Did the Foxophones know, just start really spawning so now? Just gonna hit her in the back of the hand. There we go. Because that would be ridiculous if they just started spawning stuff now. I mean, I'm usually pretty thorough when I look around in rooms. I might have missed that Foxophone, but I feel like I haven't. I didn't miss that Foxophone. Um, you know what? I'm gonna check out if I can't find the uh, Voxophone for the code in the surgical suite because that would be handy um, just going to patch over there I could be useful to her too and kill this guy in the process there we go dead drop oh that candle does a dead drop that's Awesome, so that's another trophy done. Need to, don't need to check that out anymore. So, uh, yeah, give me a second. I'm gonna look for that Voxophone. Oh, for Christ's sake. In parts inventory in the surgical suite uh, area, there's another Voxophone from Edmund Munford. I tell you, William, it's getting so the foxes are afraid of the hens. If Fink was going to hire a bunch of goons to keep an eye on the handymen, he should have found some with less yellow in the belly. Now they're hiding away from Tin Man invalids in their precious little guard room. If you need to get in there on your shift, the code is 2847. 2847. Well, thank you, Edmund. 2847. I think I just, can just walk over there. 2847. 2844. And, of course, 7. There we go. So that releases this scientist, I think. Jesus! Who's gonna attack me? I just tranquilized the fuck out of him. Eve is full. Ironside's health mode. Adds ability to re recover some health based on the absorbed damage. So that upgrades Ironside's to the full. Which is great, I suppose. More money. And that's pretty much it. So let's get back out of here. So we're heading back out so we should be pretty safe around here because we well we took out most of the people around here this just leads back to the elevator so there we go going back up i think i got pretty much everything there might be a few more things up top that i missed that i'm just realizing because there were a few hooks that might give us access to other areas Right about now, I'm planting a pair of scissors in her back to protect a child she was never going to harm. She chose to die for her revolution. What about me? For all the endless worlds, all the infinite possibilities, did I ever even have a choice? Did you? Yeah. Booker thought he did. Look where it got us. Right back where we started. Indeed, right back where we started. So we're back in the clock tower. All these infinite universes. And yet we end up just going down the same paths. Now I'll take your meaning. My father sold me to settle a marker. Comstock locked me up in a tower. And I sold Sally for what? Revenge to prove a point? And yet, here you are, settling the debt. And say we find her. The old past their damage to the young. Isn't it too late for her now? Well, I'd say that's up to her to decide. Just as coming back here was up to you. Rapture runs on children. Little girls with gold growing in their bellies. I'm not gonna break any cycle. If I'm lucky, maybe I can dent it. Just a little. Maybe just a little, yeah. I'm just gonna turn this thing again. First sleep. We, I think I cleared that out. That wasn't too much. Prayer wasn't too much either, but I'm just hesitating about leisure now. Doesn't seem like I missed anything there, so... Let's get back up and see. Um, why is there... Okay then, so this is suddenly locked, let's 
giving me look bricks with it. Oh my fucking god. Uh Ooh. Baby. I did that, right? Okay, so just wondering. This is the clock tower. I never checked out. Did I check out the other side? Did I just dismiss that it would be the same thing? I might have done that. So let's take a quick look around here. The same vending machine as always. Could get more lockpicks from it, but. Hello? Nah. My instincts were pretty correct, I think. Doesn't seem like there's much here. Don't see it anyway. Might miss it again, of course, but. Would think something like a foxophone or something would pop out at me. Clearly didn't. Um, we can't access the elevator. Okay, so that's locked. Nothing behind the elevator. Okay, I think I've been thorough enough to check everything out. So let's head back outside. So this is where the foxophone used to be from uh, talking about the big daddies and the s and songbird being similar creations. Check out all those things and then there's the, the dead handyman of course because now the battle that we had as Booker over here is completely done. It's actually even looted which is interesting. So there shouldn't be any enemies here I suppose. Could get on the skyline. I never checked out if there's anything around here that I need to see. I was just assuming that there wouldn't be anything here because there wasn't anything in the other dimension. Although there might have been a ship when we just dropped here that isn't there now, which might be something that we missed then. I don't immediately see anything now. I can't actually accelerate as Elizabeth. Okay, let's just drop down and uh, get back to the first lady airship. And see a few corpses, I suppose, because... Oh, wait, there is a foxophone over here. There shouldn't be. What the hell is this even supposed to be? Oh, it's a fireman. The fireman that Booker kills. Okay then, let's go back inside. There's Daisy. Stabbed in the back. And then this is where that boxophone is supposed to be. Is that the same one? Change. That's what the people need. But sometimes I feel all I have to offer them is blood and fire. The things they've done to me. I can't forget them. I was Columbia's victim, and victimhood begets shame. Oh, what element of human experience is more corrosive than shame? I'm rotted from the inside out. What do I have to offer this revolution except my own dark motivations? When all is said and done, what's more important to me? The people I want to save? Are those I want to murder in their beds? And she clearly chose for the people she wants to save. Anything here? Well, Fink's corpse. This is weird, walking around. What the fuck was that? That was Songbird. Oh god. And of course the first lady- wait, what? That- that's not- <laughs> give, give me- It was there a minute ago, wasn't it? It was there a minute ago. Am I going crazy? The, the first lady airship was there a minute ago, right? It isn't now, but it was there a minute ago. I'm losing my mind. Okay then, never mind. So probably, so this is where they leave with the first lady airship, but then it gets attacked by Songbird. So that's, so that's why we heard Songbird. Um, yeah, we, we have... Thanks for calling me pretty, by the way. Deal is deal. Bring it to Su Chong. We, we have it. Um, jump into... Oh my god. That's not the jump I would take. 
Trusting an interdimensional portal? That's dangerous. The trophy name for getting to this chapter. Put hair sample in two. Then, business is finished. What's going on out there? Bloodshed, violence, but not relevant to our arrangement. So, Mein Herr is the name of the trophy we just got. You probably didn't see that because I cut out the loading screens, but... That's actually, well, you would think that it's German for my hair, but it's not. It's German for my lord, so... Put the sample in tube. Yes, yes, okay, so Chong, here we go. And there he goes. Su Chong! Su Chong, we had a deal now, open! Okay. Hi, Andrew. Do you know what they call someone who enters a man's home uninvited? A thief. And I do not remember inviting you into my city. I had a deal with Su Chong. Li Su Chong is my employee. It was not a deal he was authorized to make. What do you want? I granted Atlas and his thugs. Asylum. You serve those same men in a desire to escape from my generosity. If they shall not have asylum, then they shall have liquidation. Give a parasite an ounce of charity. He'll demand a pound. I'm just looking for a girl that was taken from me. A little sister. I don't claim to understand what you are. But I know that you are special. There is business we can do together. And so, I give you a choice. Work for me, or die with Atlas. I'm not going anywhere without that girl. If it's a little sister you want, that shouldn't stand in the way of commerce. I've got dozens of them. I won't leave without her. My men stand ready to take down the door. In 60 seconds, they will enter the room. They will either treat you as a valued employee of Ryan Industries, or as a thief in the night. I'm gonna make a winter trap over here. Seconds. There must be half a dozen of them or more. Get ready. Um. Traps. I can use the plasmids as traps in it and seed the room with them. Yeah, that's hard to hide and exactly what I'm doing. Them. Take them down one by one. Booker. So I'm gonna get head upstairs. Don't obviously. underestimate you, Elizabeth. People always do. Forty seconds. You know what I see on your face? Uncertainty. Who is this girl? Thirty seconds. Do you know the value of the shark? Without them. She would be littered with the detritus of the weak. The men who come for you have much in common with those great animals. What sharks do for the ocean, these men do for rapture. Twenty seconds. I will tell you something you already sense. Atlas does not honor agreements. Andrew Ryan does. I cannot save your Sally. But I can save you. Yeah, sure. Come on. Here we Time. go. You're not a hero. You're not even a parasite. You're just a room. And Andrew Ryan has no time. Oh god, that was a Houdini splicer. Well, that kind of fucks my strategy. Enough of this. I quit. Is that a Houdini fire splicer? What the fuck? Elizabeth, stop whining, please.
So he triggered my traps without doing anything. With him. That sounded over there. What's going on? Stop screaming, Jesus. There we go. Let's go with the tranquilizer rifle for now. That seems to be the only big turret. There's one thing over there. Don't make me hunt you down like an animal. Did they never get activated by the trap or what? Stupid jerk. Should have never stuck his neck out. There you are. That sounded funny. Oh, that's annoying. Let's make this easy on both of us. Oh wow, he doesn't die from that. Um, that's gonna be annoying. Going upstairs. So the big guy doesn't die. You got my full attention. Time to pay the piper, sweetheart. Let's make this easy on both of us. Where is she? Lady? You're working my last. Are they firing at each other? Your numbers up. Seems to me you asked. Let's make this easy on both of us. Nothing personal, sweetheart. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, God. That was pretty much everything of my surprise. Eat your sharks, Ryan. The better man won. Isn't that the only thing you respect? Now let me the hell out of here. That's a very silent Ryan. Oh, God. Sounds like all hell's breaking loose out there. What's your plan? I can't just place the particle on the ceiling. It would just tear right through it. But every building in Rapture was submerged into the ocean on a lunette ring, connected to the junction of its load-bearing supports. That's fascinating and all, but if you haven't noticed, Ryan sent his goons to murder us. If you're gonna pull a rabbit out of a hat, now's the time to do it. Looks like the structural junction is in Frank Fontaine's office. If I can get there, I can float the building. It so happens I've taken that bastard's office for my own use. Yeah, because you are sure the you bastard. To the private elevator. Now hurry. Hurry? Well, since it's saving, I'm gonna take a little break. So when we get back, we're gonna, well, make a mad dash towards Fontaine's office, I suppose. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, I hope I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.